Well, everybody has been waiting a long time for this to arrive. Here it is, the brand new ID Buzz from VW. This is a reminiscent vehicle of the iconic VW bus, and they've kept it simple, but yet kept it classic. The legendary VW bus is making a comeback as the VW ID Buzz. This time, it's electrifying. This iconic beauty stole hearts in the 1950s and now is back to reclaim its throne as the ultimate symbol of freedom and adventure. Now let me spill the beans on what makes the American version of the ID Buzz even more thrilling than its European counterpart. Buckle up folks, we're in for a wild ride. Not only do we get the classic charm of the retro vibes, but we also get an extra 10 inches, a third row of seats and a treasure trove of fantastic features. Picture this, twin motors, a whopping 91 kilowatt battery pack and an estimated range, by me, of around 250 miles. And hold on to your hats because we'll be cruising with up to 330 horsepower. This beauty boasts dual rear sliding doors that open with a simple flick, making your entrance as smooth as a summer breeze. With eight vibrant colors on the outside and three stylish color combos on the inside, this van is a feast for the eyes. I'm super exhilarated to be sitting inside the new ID Buzz, and there's a bunch of really cool stuff here. The technology, overwhelming, but yet very simple to operate and use. The screen on the inside gets huge, 12.9. There's also a small screen above the steering wheel for all your gauges, plus the interior colors, when there's three different combination choices, really are simple yet elegant. And this center console, check this out. It's removable. So you can either have a pass through that you can walk through or you can have storage area plus Easter eggs galore. Now check this out. In the center console, there's also an ice scraper which seconds as a divider or is it a divider that seconds as an ice scraper and a bottle opener. So when you need that soda on the go, you can open it while sitting in the front seat. Plus, in the rear, you get a sky view with this huge, very, very beautiful uh, roof, which is electric as well. We've seen this technology in other vehicles where you can actually make it opaque with a press of a button and go light in a press of a button so you can see the outside. Imagine lying on the beach and watching the seagulls fly above you. Get ready to customize your ride to fit your needs. The ID Buzz has a removable center console and a versatile third row that can be easily removed to create more space for your adventures. Step inside and you'll be greeted by ambient lighting that cast a magical glow reminiscent of the original model. It proudly displays the iconic VW emblem on the front, rocking a two-tone paint job but don't be fooled by its retro aesthetics. This baby is packed with the latest tech and rolls on stylish 20 inch wheels. Now this is super cool. Check out this small electric sliding window within the window. Remember that from the original VW bus. Oh, and let's not forget the fantastic surprises hidden within this automotive marvel. VW has scattered clever Easter eggs throughout the vehicle, including a personal favorite of mine, something special at your feet. And check the pedals out. Of course, there's a play, which happens to be the accelerator, the go button, and then a pause, which happens to be the brake. What a great idea. Keeping it simple, but keeping it fun. Hold your horses. I know you're itching to get behind the wheel of the new ID Buzz, but you'll have to practice a little patience. This electrifying wonder won't hit the roads until next year. And as for price, well, that's still a mystery for now. But hey, if you go back in time to 1951 and a VW Transporter 23 window Samba, that version cost a mere $2,200 back in the day. Fast forward to today, and I'll venture to say the new ID Buzz might cost around 30 times that. Buckle up wallets, but that's not all. But I think VW made a mistake with the new ID Buzz. They think they will do no more than 100,000 of these a year, hence it's being made in Hanover, Germany. If they were gonna do more than 100,000 sales, they could probably bring the production to the United States. I think they're gonna sell well over 100,000. I'm Nick Miles.